Hey guys, Jared back. So tell me something, who wants virtually unlimited cloud storage space? That's what I thought. Let's go ahead and take a look. Alrighty folks, so the application I'm gonna show you today is called Cloud Goo, and believe it or not, it's actually free in the Google Play Store, and of course, as always, I'll be placing a link in the description below this video so you guys can go ahead and download it right away. But you guys are probably wondering, what does Cloud Goo do? Um, well, it's basically an app that consolidates all of your cloud storage drives into virtually one singular drive, sort of. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. So uh, user interface wise, not the biggest fan of it. It's not the most attractive out there, but as long as it's simplistic and functional, that's all I really care about. Up across the top here, we have my total amount of uh, cloud storage used and how much I have free. And then down here, we've got the different sort of categories. So you've got photos, music, videos, and documents throughout all of your cloud storage drives. Now, if we click on the settings menu here and I jump into my drives, you'll notice that I actually have both of my Google Drive accounts attached to it. And if we actually click on add a drive, um, you'll notice we can add another Google Drive account as well as any of these other supported cloud storage service providers as well. Now, if you think about it this way, Google gives you 15 gigabytes of free cloud storage space. So technically speaking, you can create as many Google accounts as you want, claim those 15 gigabytes of free storage, and basically add them to your uh, Cloud Goo application and have virtually unlimited amounts of cloud storage space, which I think is pretty goddamn sweet. So let's go ahead and back out of here, and I want to show you something else in the um, settings menu here. So we can click on Uploads. Now, as you can see, it does give us the ability to enable automatic uploads or disable them. And we can always choose which ones we want to uh, automatically upload and not. Furthermore, we can go down here, and if you don't want to let CloudGoo decide which drive to uh, upload those files to, you can go ahead and untick it, and then select maybe you want photos to go to um, drive number one, and maybe you want videos to go to drive number two. Uh, you can also select photo upload size, so original, medium, or small, it's up to you. And if we back out of here, and say for instance, we wanted to go to a photo, and maybe we wanted to um, view it. This is just an icon based on a um, application backup that I did, but maybe I want to move it to a different uh, cloud account, I can go ahead and do that. And obviously all of my cloud storage accounts would be there. So I can go ahead and select which one I want to directly move it to. Or if I wanted to, I can copy it. Or if I wanted to, I can go ahead and click the share button and share that particular file with whoever I want. Obviously it's taking a while to populate the list there. There we go. <laughs> Samsung Galaxy S5 lag for you. Um, but we can go ahead and share it with anybody I want, any application I want, which is always a really, really cool option. Uh, but anyways, guys, I think it's a great application. I think you should all be downloading this app it's free and it's going to consolidate all of your cloud storage and allow you technically to virtually create unlimited amounts of cloud storage for yourself but that's it for this one as always i'll be placing a link in the description below this video so you guys can go ahead and download it but thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one cheers this video is sponsored by unlockthatphone.com unlock any phone any carrier worldwide visit unlockthatphone.com for more information